Welcome back. It's the next day and I'm going to finish these punches this morning. I only have a couple more operations. Uh, one of them is to put a, a point on the end where the chisel end will be and the other is to put a relief on the knurl so that uh, you have a, uh, an end to be able to use your hammer or mallet in order to create your punch. One thing that I am not going to do in this video is harden these. I don't have a torch, I don't have that ability, and that's something I need to research. Perhaps I'll make another video someday um, on doing that. I probably will, but I need to research and figure out how to harden um, the tooling, especially at least the tip. But I know there's a harden. I've seen enough videos out there where, you know, you know, you got to harden these and then you quench them. You heat them up until they're non-magnetic. You quench them, but then they can be brittle. So you have to temper them. And that involves, you know, a couple hours of 400 degrees or something like that. But what I, I want to do some research before I just dive into that because I don't want to ruin the pieces. So, but I do know that they're going to need hardened or else the tip will just smash and won't really be much of a functional punch. So I think that's something I can do, but that's not gonna be part of this this two-part, maybe it'll be a three-part series someday. I'll add it to the playlist, but for now, I'm gonna complete these punches from the aesthetics of them. And uh, that's gonna be today's video. Um, the, this should be a, just another short, video sequence here because it's just a couple operations but uh what we'll do is get you put in the lathe and do that and i think i'll add on at the end of this video just so some fast cleanup montage because my lathe is it's a pretty big mess right now from this project so enough of that let me get you mounted up here and we will finish these things out all right welcome back i decided for the punch on the other end that will end up being the point, I'm gonna go ahead and center drill it because I'm gonna end up having this out and I need to turn this shaft down uh, of the punch. So let's uh, go ahead and center drill the opposite end now and try our luck once again with some center, center drilling. Wish me luck. Here we go. All right, we got a, a nice sharp corner on there. That'll be the end of that triangle uh, insert once it's worn out, but that's what I'm gonna do for this operation. Bring it all the way down, and this end ultimately will have a chamfer, a slight chamfer in, and then it'll be 400 thou, and then another slight chamfer in down to three, 250, 300 thou for the final dimension of the shaft. So here we go.
going for a hundred four hundred thou. So we got about eighty thou, seventy-five thou to take off of there. Let's get our clean this up a little bit. Keep going. I'm gonna switch to using some cutting oil. Um, I know it's not terribly hot. I know if you put cold on there, it could crack your pieces or whatever, but it's, I, I do want to get a better finish than that. So I'm going to go ahead and use some cutting oil. I need to bring down this, this to about 70, 75 more thou, and then we'll check again. That's looking better. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Okay, let's let's give that a measure. See what we hit. We took off about twenty thou. Yeah, about twenty twenty two thou is what we took off of that so we need to keep going I need another 50 thou taken off again I'm trying to hit 400 thou let's get some I think this is helping so we'll put that on there That's a good, good finish. I like that. Real good. That oil, kudos to Dave once again. His uh, blend, his uh, cutting blend that he makes, works really well. I'm sure he covers that in his channel if you want to check him out. Dave him, go look him up. Okay, let's... clean this up a little bit and what we're going to do now is kind of determine how far of a shoulder we want. I had written down in the original the original to be a quarter inch but I kind of think I want to go a little bit farther. What we're doing is replicating this shoulder right here. So I might go I don't want to go a half of an inch maybe three eighths. I just think a quarter might be too short. Let's do 300, 300 thou. So that's what we're gonna go with. 300 thou-ish. And we'll put that on here. 
maybe. I'm sure you're all laughing at how I'm doing this, but that's how I'm doing it. That's where we're gonna cut to. Um, so that's gonna be our shoulder this little spot back here. And I'll cut a relief. It'll be a step down at an angle, another step down at an angle. So, I want this dimension, I did have a quarter inch. I may drop that down to 300 thou. So just take another 100 thou off and call it. Let's go ahead and take 100 thou off and see what it looks like. If we don't like it, then we'll take another 50 thou off. But again, this is gonna be an overall bigger punch than, than the original. I'm making mine out of half inch material. So the, the knurled portion is gonna be half inch. So let's, let's bring this down to 300 thou and see what we think. And I am going to use cutting oil. I, I think this finish is far, far superior using that, so. here what are we looking at so we only took 20 30 thou off what I'm going for is 300 thou so I still got quite a bit to take off about 70 thou let's creep up to it again I don't want to overshoot I'm trying to get trying to work with accuracy again this is not a critical part but I do want to try to hit my marks pretty close and that's going to teach me how to creep up how the machine works, how many, um, cause I don't have gauges that aren't millimeter, right? So I have to learn the machine, how much I'm taking off in order to kind of get close to my mark so then I can creep up on them. So this oil's really helping out. So I'm gonna continue to use that. And we'll keep going. Anybody's curious, running this about 550 RPM with the cutting oil versus 700 RPM, the finishes are are fantastic at 550 RPMs compared to a higher RPM on this lathe with this cutting tooling and this particular material. Just play with your speeds and your feeds and your and you're gonna get different finishes. Um, again, 
everything I'm doing, every project I do, I'm trying to learn different techniques and things. So just wanted to point that out. This fan, this is starting to look really, really nice. So 550 RPMs, automatic feed, and we're getting close to my 300. I got another 10, 12 thou to take off, 14 thou. I'm gonna do that again. It's just it's looking really good. Again, more oil. Uh, I like I like how this is working out. nice let's see how close we came to 300 thou oh, I shot overshot it pretty close though that's okay I like that I'm not gonna go to a quarter inch um, I like where that is the only thing left now would be to I want to put a, a chamfer on this edge and this edge to bring it down um, just to make that look nicer and that completes the work on the shaft and the step down and then the only other two operations I have is to create another small step down on the back end of this you know for your mallet or hammer and then we need to create our our chisel point or not chisel point but a, a point for our punch um, I'm gonna do those two operations later because I need to repeat all of this on the second one that I'm making still and this is original so I don't think I'm gonna film that just because it's just more of the same but I'm gonna repeat all this and uh, and I'll make another one but before I do that let me get these chamfers on here clean this off worked out really well my cutting tip is still holding up well so far let's grab let's see will this do it's about the angle I want I'm gonna go with that I think it'll look nice clean some of this off it's interesting watching these chips again I'm learning I, I don't know how all this stuff behaves until I use it and learn it but uh, it's it's interesting to watch and learn and see how how your material and your cutting tools behave so let's let's give this a shot Let's get that chamfer on there and then we'll we'll do this side as well.
looks good. Okay, let's move on to this back side. There we go. That'll clear. There we go. Overall, I like that. Um, even the finishes turned out very nice. Very happy with that. Get this tool out of here. And let's get this out of here. Some cleanup to do. this up there we go still got a mess but if we look there's our step I got I hit 400 thou on this step and 300 thou on this shaft so now we got to create our, our point for our punch and then we're gonna create our step on this end but we're getting close it's resembling the punch so again like i said i got to repeat this on the other one i'm not going to record it because that's just more of the same i'll bring you back when we're ready to do the next operations here we go we're back what we're going to do is i need to get rid of this hole first which is oh maybe a quarter inch deep um, and then what we're going to do is machine down about a quarter inch relief and I want to hit 400 thou so I have how much sticking out I got a little over half inch 600 thou sticking out I think I'm gonna bring it back out a little bit further so that I don't have to reposition it and I'm not cranking this down super hard because I don't want to damage my neural. Um, so what we're going to do is face this off. We're going to get rid of the, the, the center hole that I drilled. And then we're going to bring it down a quarter inch deep and 400 thou. That's what we're shooting for. So here we go. Bring you right back. It's creating a dome. I am locking the carriage. I don't know if this thing is just simply mounted at an angle. Um, let's get that figured out. 
I'll bring you back. I think we got it now. Um, again, let, let's let this be a learning moment for other people. We'll see what this does, and then I'll slow it down. I'll tell you what I think, what I did. So bring this back. Lock that down. If you're getting a dome on your workpiece, um, <laughs> don't do like I just did. I actually, uh, I didn't have the, the jaws tightened down because I was going to check something. Um, or they were sort of tight, but I didn't want to damage my neural. At any rate, something to think about. If you're getting domes, check your workpiece. It, it may not be tight. So anyway. Just want to throw that out there. Everything on this channel is a, a learning moment, a teachable moment. Um, learn from my mistakes. Um, that's what this channel is all about. So anyway, I'm going to continue on. Again, I'm looking for a quarter inch of a step down that's 400 thou thick. stop there. Um, I'm going to use a little emery cloth, I think, to clean that up a little bit, but we're oh, about 5 thou over. I just checked it. Um, so we're 400 thou, 400 and 5 thou. So we'll, we got a little bit more to do here. Let's take this off. I want to chamfer a couple edges. So I want to chamfer this outside edge and then the edge by the knurl. So let's get that done. with some emery cloth, some Scotch-Brite.
go. Let's take that out, give you a look. There we go. So there is that operation done. And then the last operation is going to be to put a, a point on the end. Uh, but for now, I think I'll go ahead and get the other operation done on the other one since I've got it set up. I'm not going to record it because, you know, it's just exactly the same as what you just saw. So we're coming together. We're getting there. All right, we're gonna finish the video. Um, I finally have the, the punches machined down. Now, what they aren't is hardened. I did not harden these. That's going to be a different video someday that I will tack on as part three of this series. But for now, this is what I wanted to do. Recreate my brother's punch with some liberties. But um, for the most part, these are pretty much the scale. I did edit and change some of the dimensions, you know, to make them a little more on point. These are 400 thou, these are 300 thou, the shaft. The points are still 45 degrees, um, and it worked out. I still got the step down. I did put a chamfer on those. Um, overall, give me a close up. I think they turned out quite well. Here's the point. Quite happy with these. So, the Brothers Punch, that concludes the remake of these punches and uh, I appreciate you watching. Um, if you're getting into this hobby, don't be afraid to try something new. Come, you know, try to be creative, look around the garage, talk to other people, see what they have, recreate what they have. But anyway, thanks for watching. I think these turned out great. Uh, one of these days I'll get these hardened up and that'll be another video. But for now, that's gonna close out this two part series. Thank you.